Welcome to the Rainbow Sash Movements Podcast. Let us always remember we are in the presence of our God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the earth. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who suffer persecution for justice sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men reproach you and persecute you, and speaking falsely say all manner of evil against you for my sake. Who shall we pray for? Let us remember those who serve in the military and protect us. Let us remember those who die alone. Let us remember those who suffer from any life-threatening disease. Let us remember those who are unemployed. Let us remember our church, which is in such need of reform. Lord, hear our prayer. Have you ever been challenged by gay or lesbian people? What do you think of the bishop's document, Always Our Children? Is it useful as a pastoral resource or tool? Does the Roman Catholic tradition and theology create an opportunity to be open to lesbians and gay men. If we truly believe we are sons and daughters of God, then we have an obligation to be in relationship with our brothers and sisters, no matter who they are, where they are from, what they smell like, what they talk like. It doesn't make any difference. We have an obligation to do that. In order for us to be true to the Lord, then that kind of belief has to be fundamental in all that we are, and it has to be spoken, affirmed, and lived. How do you respond when gay and lesbian people ask, where is your hope for making this an inclusive church and making it actually happen? What do you say? Is it the place of the church to tell 
another how they should love and who they should love. The church should never hinder one from good relationships with other people that are healthy and loyal in which you can tell the innermost secrets of your life. So it is important to affirm the church's doctrine on sexuality while at the same time affirming the beauty of relationship. We pray for the day when our gay and lesbian relationships can be brought to the altar to be affirmed and celebrated. Is it possible, I wonder, to affirm the church's teaching position without being judgmental of gay and lesbian relationships? Thank you, the listener, for listening to this issue of the Rainbow Sash Movements podcast.